Hey guys, welcome back. We still have to figure out our podcast name. Oh yeah, now, no podcast name, huh? Yeah, no podcast name. Leanne Marielle. Leanne Convos with Leanne Marielle. Chit chat with us. Chit chat with us. <laughs> um, but if you guys have any recommendations, yeah, drop them below. Let us um, know. But yeah, so we're back with episode two. I feel like our other episodes did really well. Yeah, I got a lot cute. of feedback. And yeah. Everybody, yeah. I got a lot of feedback on Instagram when I posted, like, our little reel. Mm. And they were like, oh, like, this actually, like, really helped me out. I've been in a funk. Oh, and that's I was, like, good. that's really nice. Uh, so, that's, like, the whole point why we're doing this is to share our experience and, like, yeah, like obviously to motivate others, but really more for, like, for us. us, too. It's, like, like a little it's therapy a little, session yeah. for us, you know? It's, it's so very therapeutic. I'm really excited to be back for episode two. Um, this time we have something really exciting. So we're filming this a few days um, a couple weeks before Christmas, so it's around the corner, which means the new year is around the corner. Yes. I can't believe it's it's so fast. Like, I thought summer was, like, yesterday. Dude, I know. Like, especially with my move here, I moved. Yeah. It was summer, I moved, and then, like, Thanksgiving, and then Christmas, and now you New Year's. August, right? Yeah. Yeah, so August, and then she's basically back home again for Christmas. I know. For the holidays. And then it's, like, New Year's, it's like, oh my god, what the... Yeah. Ah, no, literally. Time just like went by so quick. So um, today we are doing our vision boards. Um, so we have. She's gonna be doing it online, and then I got some pictures here. I'm a. Which was such a good idea. I like to do idea. a little arts crafty, you know. No, but, that's such a good idea. I should have just like printed my stuff. No, it's totally cool. I would have done it for like, you. Like, look how cute. Look how it, cute. Oh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so sorry. It's so okay. Sorry. It's okay. But yeah. Um, but yeah, we have um, our vision boards. We journaled oh separately mm-hmm. um, about what our goals were. So we're actually sharing this with you guys and each other for the first time. I know this is so weird. I don't share my journals Same. with anybody. I, I just, don't like, share mine either. ever, except for Mike. But like for the most part, it's just me, him, and my journal. Oh my god! Yeah, so this no. is gonna be fun. But I feel like it's really ah. important, especially for people that are kind of trying to head into the direction that we're in um, especially if you want to move out to LA and like do stuff within the industry or just regardless of what industry you're in yeah um, I think it's like super exciting to just you know share with a community yeah and kind of feed get feedback off of each other so I'm super excited but I did one last year Mm. um and I genuinely enjoyed it I did it with a group of girls it was a cute night we had a little pasta oh you guys made it a night yeah it was a night like a journal night it was a vision board night yeah Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so I've never that. see like my vision board experiences have never been with like others or like yeah. a thing. It was just like naturally that something like oh let me just write something down before the New Year's. Mm-hmm. Like, it was so like no. Nonchalant. I think last year it was I was always looking for a community because I had just moved out, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so it was really nice. But I 100% recommend that you do it with people that um, you're comfortable with. Don't just do it to do it. It's, like, a very thoughtful process, yeah. and I think a lot of people, especially on TikTok, I see a lot of people being, like, oh, like, let's have a vision board night, but, like, make it wholesome, you know, like, make it actually appropriate for what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, Don't just, just have, do it with everybody. It has to match your energy level, yeah. like, it's a, it's actually, like, a scientific fact it's that, like, it needs fact. to be on the frequency that you're, you want to move on, you know, yeah, like, yeah. it has to... Like, it just has to make sense. So you can just, like, do it just to do it and be like, eh, I think so. And put the half-ass energy into it. It probably will not not have as much impact or energy, you know, thoughtfulness into, like, the actual dream itself. So you kind of have to be, like, in a good place, like, by yourself maybe. Yeah, definitely. I did my first... I didn't do a vision board, but, like, a couple years ago before I moved out to L.A., Mm. I was like, okay, like, these are the things I want to do. Um, coming into this year and yeah. thankfully that that was actually moving to LA so I wrote hey. it in my journal so that shit happened yeah, I'm like, so excited to tell it like I'm excited like, spill all like spill. This, everything yeah, yeah. because <laughs> all, we're giving good energy to our community and yeah. hopefully our community gives it back yeah but sure. um, I like to do this thing where I give okay. myself five words to work on for the year five words yeah okay. i'm not gonna lie i'm so against that <laughs> <laughs> not for no, you for no, no, me no. yeah like anytime someone i'm like doing like a mentorship program or like a coaching thing like they're like oh think of a word i'm like bro one word is so no, hard I, for that's me. why i'm like five because i feel like five is a good number it's not too crowded it's not i too really minimal. love that though because yeah. then you open up the doors for like anything to happen within yeah. that word yeah i feel like so i'm gonna share yeah. mine go do it so my first word is limitless for mm-hmm. the year fearless 
dedication, perseverance, and freedom. I love that. Yeah, I feel like they're very broad, but to me, it's very specific areas in my life. Right. And I had to think that was, I was pondering on it for like a whole week straight. Mm. Because I feel like it does get scary when people are like in mentorships or like in, in motivational speaking um, stuff. They're always like, oh, choose one word. And I'm like, one or word. Or just words no. in general. I'm like, yeah. I need a whole story. I need a whole yeah. novel. Like, yeah. don't ask me to do one word or a couple words. But it is so true because they want you to focus like on that, yeah, specific, on that specific thing. thing. Yeah, that feeling. And I feel like I'm. I was telling her earlier in the car, I was like, I'm one of, like, many personalities, yeah. you know? So I feel like I can't just stick to one thing because I feel like my one personality this day or one personality mm-hmm. that day is not going to revolve around that one word. So mm-hmm. that's why I felt like I had to think of various words that would match each aspect of, aspect of my life. I hear that. I yeah. kind of did the same thing, but not words. I did topics. So, like, Ooh. for my vision board this year, I didn't do it last year, but this year specifically, I, I separated yeah. into, like, my career, my love life, Ooh. my family life, my yeah. health, my f- like yeah, so um, same kind of the same, yeah. just just yeah. more words exactly <laughs> exactly like that's how I like a paragraph maybe for each like yeah, for aspect each of my aspect. life yeah. yeah so that's what I, I, I did that. that's how I organized it per but yeah on okay. completely <laughs> so I feel like I'll share my first one yeah do it I'll share like maybe five I won't go through the whole thing because I feel like you know. Yeah, for sure. A little for me. So I feel like this one <laughs> is much. something that I've been working on this year that towards the end of this year, I've kind of, it was a thought at first in the beginning, but I, it was so vague. Mm-hmm. Now I think I understand where I'm coming from. So this year was finding my real voice mm-hmm. just in like every day and dance and yeah. like all that stuff. Because I feel like growing up, I'm the eldest child, so mm-hmm. I feel like I was always doing stuff for other people. Right. Whether it was for my family or my parents or my sister or, like, now I'm, like, in a relationship, mm-hmm. you know? And not that Mike, like, succumbs me to one thing, but he has been such, like, an inspiration to finding his real voice that I've seen this year that I kind of want to do the same. Mm, yeah. So I feel like he's a little bit... And I think it comes with time, you know? Like, right. Like, just maturing in general. I think... The 20s for me has been really difficult to find my true self Mm -hmm. because like between 18, 19, 20 versus 25, it's only five years of a difference, you know, but I feel like so many things have been happening in five years. Well, they do say the 20s are like the most, you know, pivotal, pivotal, like everything happens in your 20s where you're like really trying to figure out your your life you no, know literally because yeah. once you're you know 30s i mean everybody's life is different but once you're like 30s you're like a little bit more grown as you grow up you're like okay i'm settling down for this i'm settling down for this yeah. like 20s is the ex- place to explore no facts. and fuck up bad no facts, you know facts, 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 so facts. that's like definitely normal in the sense where like it's not not we it's not it's not, not a normal yeah yeah you know yeah yeah and i feel like this year i really want to find myself i actually yeah. just took a crump class recently Ooh, yeah like a like, a, like dead ass crump yeah. <laughs> and i That's was lit. like yeah and we just did like basics and intros to it and just kind of finding our voice and so she lotus is um the person that i trained with that day yeah. and she was like you know like with crump it has a community behind it. It's mm-hmm. very vocal. Mm. And I'm just not a vocal person. So at you're all. not the type to like just stand up and be like, nah, this. Nah, this, yeah. Like uh. I need a couple seconds to kind of figure it out mm. because I don't want to be that person yeah. to like say some weird shit or like I hear you. say something that huh. I don't really mean. So um, when she was saying like, be like, yeah, and like just screaming out, like, you know, like the crump essence of yeah. it. I was like, this is making me so uncomfortable right yeah. now. Like, why? Like, I can't be like, yeah. Like, it, I, it's, it's, it's not it's, you. It's not me. Yeah. But I feel like it's going to help me. And I I literally wanted to cry that entire time. It wasn't because <laughs> it was so I was so uncomfortable. It wasn't more of the uncomfortability. It was like kind of making like a, it was like a pivotal epiphany for me where I was like, oh my God, like you're scared of your own voice. Like, this is why you, you're not advancing as much as you would like mm. in a certain aspect in dance. Yeah. Because I feel like I don't dance with a voice because I don't know what my voice is. Right. So for me to dance or to just like come on a camera, like I don't know how speak. to just come out. I hear you. Me. I think you know, I think you know your voice though. I do. It's but just it, it's, it's just deep like, in. it's deep in there yeah. and it, I think layer by layer it's coming out like an onion you know and the more you practice it the more it will reveal itself it yeah you know yeah so as long as you keep working on it then yeah. it's gonna be like boom i'm ariel this yes, is me that's hello what I want. you know yeah 
and like my Aries is in there. And she's yeah, coming out, she's coming out. But it's like my Pisces self is like, girl, uh, come the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a push and pull. It's a push and pull. A push yeah, and pull I'm effect. like some days I feel super fucking confident in myself, and like you know I think I could change the world with a sentence. Yeah. And then there's another day where I'm like, oh, I think we should stay in our little little nest. Yeah, well today. that yeah. is okay too because yeah. you know you can't always be like, mm, 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 yeah, yeah, like I'm yeah. powerful, I'm powerful, because then you're gonna be freaking delusional delusional you know? exactly so i think it's all with finding a voice finding a balance yeah yeah 100%. but that's that's my number one like that's what i really want to find this year and is there like a certain aspect in your life where you want to find a voice in or just like in dance or in i think like, just in business um or i in think general? in general because once i find my voice of like who i am to myself and I think it's like a, that's a very hard thing to do is to be vulnerable with yourself, let alone other people. Yeah. So I think once I learn how to just journal what I actually want to say instead of trying to make it look cute. I hear you. You know. I know what you mean. Like you're not being honest. I'm not being honest to myself because mm-hmm. if I don't, if I, I'm a, like a visual person. So if mm-hmm. I fucking write it down, that's exactly what I'm fucking feeling. You mm-hmm. know. But sometimes there's times where I'm like so overwhelmed with a feeling, I don't actually want to like say it, say or, it or write it because then once I do say it I'm actually feeling it it's like legit yeah and you can't run away from that no you, yeah the faster you tackle the faster you are like vulnerable with it and be like shit that's some real yeah, shit yeah that's honesty, some real shit yeah then the faster it will be okay yeah you know mm-hmm. and I think that's, that's some, something that's cool that's, that's some deep shit that I want yeah that's this some year. deep shit so I, I'm like I don't know what I gotta do if I gotta shadow journal this I don't know what no <laughs> yeah and that's a good thing about journal that's what they're yeah. for like I feel yeah. like people I feel like people like over um what's it called? I feel like people make journaling seem like this like big deal, which it is a big deal. It is but, a like, big deal. They make it so pressured, like oh yeah, you, like, like have it has to, to do be this. perfect looking. Yeah, you know? and it yeah. doesn't. Like look, my journal is like horrible handwriting. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm writing, and I just like oh line dash okay next. Like yeah. I skip topics. Like it's not perfect at all. It's literally just your personal life written down, so you can like hold yourself accountable slash manifest yeah. slash like you know it's just like your personal life in a book like yeah. you're writing your story here mm-hmm. you know what I mean yeah so it's like it doesn't have to be perfect no but I get what you mean because I also feel that way and people are like okay guys close your eyes envision this and like I can't write feel down <laughs> write down like what this it's, means to you and I'm like I can't you're five minutes I'm like five minutes yeah like I need like a whole need, like, like hour. hours I'm like yeah, you know, so this I has get to be like mean. a night thing, like right. maybe a few hours. So I, so sometimes out. when that happens to me, like almost in any like thing to, for work or for like a mentorship program for training, like that would happen to me. I would literally just go home and write it down, like later. Yeah, maybe I write something down, like maybe I feel like this. Maybe I'm just like, like yeah. look at my neighbors. And I like, have to uh, write the prompt down and be like, I'll get yeah. back to you on that. And I go back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a lot. Sure. Like when you're talking about life. Like, we do it all a lot in Troop, and, like, it's, I'd be taking a lot of the stuff that they ask in Troop, during the yeah. thing, during the session, and I'm like, ooh, like, I can't think about that right now, because I'm about to do Afro. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think, um, Troop had said something, like, set your intentions for this week, right? Mm-hmm. And I had an attention, but I wasn't, like, specific. I just wanted to try something new. Yeah. Like, I was like, mm, I just want to see what this is about. And it was dope, but I was just trying something new, so it was really even hard for me to write my, my like, simple as intentions. I'm yeah. like, uh what is my tension? Yeah. And it made me think about it. I was like, mm, yeah. I don't really know. I'm just like here to try some yeah, new try shit. Something. Yeah. You know? But anyways. Cool. So that's mine. Anyways, that was a good one. Thank you. Um, thank you. Now I'm like you nervous. Wanna, cause, if you like, want to share something, <laughs> no pressure or anything. Now I'm like though. nervous because like, dang. Okay. Which one should I do, man? Okay. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna be cut in while she figures yeah, it out. Yeah, because we're like sla- making mood board while we're talking. While we're talking. We're doing two things at we're once. Doing two- yeah, my. Uh, I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna do it. Not. It, it doesn't have to be like the craziest. Whatever yeah, see, you I'm feel like getting nervous because I'm like. Girl, don't get nervous. Like I told you guys, I it's literally not, don't yeah. write. Wait, I don't share. I don't share, yeah. I just do. <laughs> okay. As you say. Here we go. Um, Let's see. So, how I organized my journal, like I said, it was, like, in different aspects of my, my life. So, love, you know, health, motivation, you know, career. 
Um, career is not that fun. We don't need to talk about that because, like, that's some other stuff that we can talk about. Some, like, other deeper shit. Yeah, another day. I guess I could say this one. So the title was Motivation Goes Crazy. <laughs> no, it really do, though. Motivation like, Goes Crazy. That. So that was my title for it. So then I wrote, my motivation skyrockets like no other. And so how I write things or how I like to write my stuff is like how it, it's already happening. Okay. And like present tense. You mean? Yeah, okay. present tense and how. <laughs> guess a good word. Present tense. I was like <laughs> already happening. Um, present tense and like already have it. Basically, yeah. You know. So I said my motivation skyrockets like crazy, like no other. Life feels aligned majority of the time. Hustling, hustling smart and hard. Both take in. See, I, it doesn't make sense, but I'm still go. Yeah, keep, keep it going. <laughs> um, hustling smart and hard, both take in play as well as seeing results often when being highly motivated at the same time. Okay. I feel. Hold on. What did I write? No, you're good. Your mind was going. I know, right? I was just like, that's what I do. I'm just writing and not, like, thinking. And I'm like, This is what oh. I want. Like, I just want to go. Yeah, just go. You know? It, like, but, I'm over here, my, my freaking... You're, like, writing so perfectly. No, literally, like... But it's uh, it's good to understand because now I'm like, what the fuck did I actually write? <laughs> I'm like, I don't understand this. This is what I wrote, and we can try to figure out what I said. I feel read in the A... In the... A... 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 M... I feel read in the AM when I wake up and excited to execute every maybe you're movement like, maybe you're through like the you days. Feel re- what to feel ready in the morning when you wake up and get excited to execute every movement throughout the day. I think that's I think what I was trying to say. Trying. Yeah. Like, that what sense. the fuck? <laughs> that yeah. Makes, so deciphering <laughs> Leah's journal is actually what we're doing today. That's what actually trying to figure out what the fuck <laughs> I said. No, but yeah. So that's basically what I said. It's nothing like crazy, but it yeah. is some true shit because... Like, if I'm being quite honest, moving to L.A. was a really, really tough, like, move. And it's yeah. not easy for anybody. Like, no. it's a fucking hard move for everyone. FYI, she's from Virginia. We're from Jersey. So we're on a whole different coast. Yeah. Like, alone. I don't have family out here. Do you have family I don't. Uh, no. Like, I mean, you have I, any aunties? No. I have a yeah. brother in San Francisco. But that's a drive. That's still far. That's, that's like six drive. hours away. So, yeah. yeah, we're alone out here. Yeah, we're basically yeah. damn near alone. So we're just like, you know, going through our life trying to figure out alone. But I think that's strong. It is. It's it's strong. It's We like, were put here for a reason. Exactly. With the with how our life has come for a reason, right. you know. Right. And so it's meant to be. It's definitely meant to be. Yeah. 100%. I but wouldn't change it anyway. No, I definitely wouldn't change my life for shit. No, I... I would rather go through the gutter. No facts. And like, like we are right now. No. Like, <laughs> like, financially unstable. So financially <laughs> unstable. <laughs> mentally so vulnerable. semi-stable. <laughs> mentally... I, mentally oh, wait, yeah, we haven't asked each other that. How are you doing mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually? <laughs> um, Mentally, you know, I'm getting better. Like how I said, LA's move was super hard for me. I literally just moved like two months ago, maybe, yeah. right or whatever. So it's been hard, but mentally I'm only going up. Perfect. So that's good. That's facts. Um, physically, thriving. Yep. Thriving. I, I'm in love with fitness, my body, I health. That's like another thing we could talk about. She's so good at yoga and like <laughs> just fitness in general. I'm trying to be her. We need to work out. We do. Soon. No, because listen, like health is wealth. No, health dude. is wellness, bro. Health, health is wealth. wealth. Health is wealth. Yeah. Anyways, because, yeah. Yeah, okay. And <laughs> mentally, physically, what'd you say? Spiritually, emotionally. And we're spiritually, done. I'm getting better. Um, I think mentally and spiritually is like connected. Connected, yes, very because, much. I mean, everything is connected, but those two for sure. For sure, yeah. So it's the same. And then emotionally, I also think, no, emo- I'm on my period, so emotionally I'm like not Shut okay. Up, me too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like right now? Like the right second. now, like the second as we're going yeah. through this convo. So emotionally I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. I love that for us. But yeah, so that's me. What about yeah, you? <laughs> I feel like mentally, I started a new job. Uh-huh. So she's happier. Okay. So she's mentally going what up job? as well. So I started doing an infusion center that does um, more vitamin drips. <gasps> Yeah. So like cryotherapy back. vitamins or no? No, only um, vitamins. Only vitamins. Yeah. Mm. I want to do a cryotherapy, but we're still working on it. We're still working on. It. We're going up. You I know. I love that for you. So dude. I think I'm mentally. I was in a gutter for a minute, but I think it was because of the workplace. I'd been there for like three times a week, mm. and then the other what 
seven or, or 55 percent of the week yeah i'm doing something that makes me happy but that's still not enough enough for mm-hmm. me so i think i'm mentally going up as well good um physically girl i went to do a workout today i'm very motivated we're starting early because mm-hmm. i know a lot of people do the whole like oh 2024 i'm gonna be fit like nah bitch like 2024 you need to start now i'm starting now yeah like we is in advance for it so mm-hmm. i feel really fucking good i'm a little sore in the glutes area because we were working always. on it today always but i feel different and it mm-hmm. feels i feel strong good yeah so that's amazing and like the only thing like we can talk about fitness because it, it aligns with yeah. our goals because for me like fitness i want to maintain and only like put gain more knowledge on it you want to maintain it and maintain be consistent it. yeah right? yeah and like anything with consistency like you got to be consistent with your yeah. health and fitness dude like you got to be strict on it too because no that's like the number one thing i i feel like i was blessed that my mom was like she's a, so she's strict. a girly uh fitness girly not really she's just like very <laughs> dogs <laughs> babies <laughs> dogs babies <laughs> <laughs> where to go, bro? <laughs> Dogs, babies. No, but my mom. I was super blessed because my mom was very, very strict on me with my health in general. Oh yeah. So no. she like she whatever held you all I accountable. ate. Yeah. Good, so she good. was never let me eat school lunch food. Like always cooked my meals. Like that type of thing. However, I like hated her because I was like, oh my god, I want to eat a cookie. Yeah, she was like, yeah, no yeah. cookies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was like very like harsh when I was growing up. But now that I'm older, I'm like looking. I'm like, damn, like. She if, did that for y'all. If that didn't happen, I wouldn't be so in tune with my body, my health, mind body connection. Like, I wouldn't give a shit of what I put in my body. And one thing I do notice is that people have the a number one struggle of working out. Yeah. And being healthy. Yeah. You know, and that's like um It's hard it's because a true fact. you have to keep yourself accountable. Like for me as like an adult, like I don't have my mom being like do you can't this. have a cookie. Do this. Yeah. You. This is what you're gonna eat today. Like, right. whatever decision I make in my Close. lifestyle is what's gonna affect me because mm-hmm. it's what I'm doing to myself, and so that's why I think physically, that was me for like majority of the, this last year mm-hmm. until I joined Troop, yeah. where somebody was holding me accountable too, right. and I was in a community that was still holding me accountable. So I think, for me, understanding how I, you know. It, how I go about life yeah. is helping a lot this year. That's good. Yeah. And like, it takes everybody it's a certain time. Like, yeah. It's not uh, like, oh, you have to do it now. Like, yeah. no. If no. it's not your time, don't do it now. Yeah, yeah. You're obviously in the shit, this like shit gutter, yeah. whatever the fuck you want to call it, the for second, a reason. Yeah, for a reason. So, so take your time until you're ready. You have that realization. You have that motivation. Exactly. Motivation. Which we have now. Yeah. What was it? Motivation. Motivation. To what was it? Oh, motivation goes Just crazy. Motivation goes crazy. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to be. And spiritually, we're still working on it. I feel like it's it's an when you're an adult and you don't gotta go to church because your mom told you to go to church mm. it's a different story yeah are you going to church yeah yeah, yeah. for realsies yeah but i'm catholic that's you, okay yeah i'm not i'm like no, i'm like nothing i'm just i like like going to, I church, like going to and church and i like yeah. get being informed yeah. <laughs> no um so i think it's very hard like at first i wasn't going to church as much mm. because like when i moved out here i felt i felt like on sunday i was just so exhausted camera came off we back now we're back um we're back. but i feel like it's it's a very big process and a very big learning curve mm. when, like, accountability. Like, same thing with your spirituality. Like, do you still want to keep doing what your parents raised you to do and what you were, no, like, what you grew up with, you know what I mean? Mm. So I feel like now that I kind of understand what I want to lead with my faith in adulthood, it's so different from high school and younger Yeah, stuff, you know what I mean? of course. Just like anything. So spiritually, I'm doing well. Yay, yeah, that's, yeah. I'm happy for you. Yeah. And I know a lot of people, like, they're not really religious to one thing. They just love the idea and the community aspect of it. Yeah. Of it. Because you do feel it. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever been to church when there's, like, homilies or, like, readings or whatever that really speak to you that day. Yeah, yeah. I've had some of those, and I'm like, holy fuck. Like, I was meant to be here today. Dude. No, there, I mean, I personally didn't grow up going to church maybe when I was a baby Mm -hmm. and I also had the same thing like my parents would tell me you know church is good God is good I'm like okay yeah I'm like cool cool don't know shit but cool but now that I'm like really on my own and I'm going through like this biggest change in my life so far yeah um I felt like I was missing something and I you know was called to go to church every Sunday or and called to like build a relationship with Jesus and like actually find out about him and know you know what's yeah. going on, yeah. what, what it is. 
So now I'm really dedicated and I make it a point to to go every Sunday I and make that. it consistent with it. Yeah. I love that. Do you have a church that you love going to right now? Yeah. What church so is it? I, plug them up, plug them up. I love Mosaic. I mean I've been there ever since I came here, like every Sunday, maybe one Sunday I didn't mm-hmm. go. But I also really like the one. They're both in like West Hollywood, Hollywood area. How did you find that? How would you find out about them? Yeah, Mosaic actually has a lot of creative like industry people, like uh-huh. singers, dancers, uh-huh. like art, artistic people. Yeah, yeah. They go there, um, and I found out through my roommate. And then the one I found out through my friend, but they're like right next to each other. Oh. So they're like really close in really distance. Close. Oh, okay. Um, one, I really like the one because they're messages speak to me mm-hmm. but the community in the mosaic is like very special too on the real i don't know if you guys have ever felt it but like when you're there and you're going through something mm-hmm. and you kind of just need a fucking answer bro and it happens and it's there and like bro. the answer's there it freaks me out it never fails to freak me out yeah i get so scared because like you know like sometimes i, I don't be listening because i'm like talking to, to god. god myself yeah um, which is bad <laughs> sometimes. No, it's not but, bad. It's you do um, your own thing. Yeah, I do my own thing. Yeah. But then the moment I zoom in back to the conversation like, of what we're having, yeah. it's like, here's the answer, girl. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa. That's, that's pretty that's, cool. It's creepy, that's cool, know, and just, like, so enlightening. And it, it's kind of just like, okay, like, because there be some days where I'm just like, yo, like, give me something. Yeah. Give me something. And sometimes, like, today, for example, I went to church, and I didn't feel that something like yeah that what she's talking about i did not feel that it's but not an everyday occurrence sometimes yeah. i do yeah or sometimes maybe i'll go on a streak but like it's not every day it's and i definitely day. didn't today i was like <laughs> i was like okay. waiting patiently okay <laughs> okay but but sometimes that that's might be a sign where it's like you know you're you're here you're meant to present. be where you're at yeah. you're present like maybe something just didn't have to come today because life's beautiful and you're mentally okay today yeah you know yeah, which yeah. is a good sign for sure for so sure. yeah but i never fail to like not cry at church like oh, i always cry facts. i always I cry also i'm a it, crier it makes me <laughs> scared to cry in church because like sometimes with like the catholic churches that i grew up with sometimes it'd be hitting a little hard and i just feel i feel feels i feel a lot of things like i feel uh, you should yeah as you should you should let it out There's yeah bugs in my face. and like you sometimes let like, it the out. little old ladies they'd be like i'm over here sniffling and like no. they'd be like Bro, I can't hear the homily. No, <laughs> let it out. So I, I think I've had a hard time finding a church that I actually like, which now I finally have found here. one here. Good. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think we need, we need to find like the younger priests for me. Hell yeah. And once I did, I was like, all right, bet, bet, bet. Like, yeah. like y'all still know what I'm feeling. Exactly. You know? That's but good. also random thought. Um, I have this podcast picture. I saw that. I was like. You want this mic? Like, what no, is this? No, I want to do a podcast this year. Like a channel. Like an actual thing. Hell yeah. And I was like, we started early. We started early. Because we're not, <laughs> probably not going to do another one until obviously the new year. So this yeah. is a nice, like, ending. <gasps> That's crazy. That's crazy. That's so cute. I've been so. I've been talking about podcasts. I mean, obviously, it's a hot thing. Like, everybody wants, yeah, to, do everyone wants to do a podcast. Yeah, everyone podcast. But yeah. I think it's the best thing. I mean, I honestly, it's, it's a really nice cool. free therapy for me. I know. It's you not know? even like, you know, one person could just watch this, but I'm like, <laughs> you've really been helped me out because I'm talking out no, loud. No, for real. So, <laughs> like, if stuff. y'all listen to this, thank you. <laughs> thank and I hope you. you guys honestly, like, feel something with it too. Yeah. And we can relate to we it. The whole relate. point is to relate to each yeah. other. We're all in it together. No. Everybody's fucked up in their own way. Facts, bro. Facts. <laughs> That's one thing I was just talking to my friend about the other day. I was like, Listen, everybody's fucked up in their own way. No one is perfect. And, like, this whole, like, social media shit, like, it's, like, everybody knows about it, but doesn't, like, really keep, what's it called, acknowledging it. Yeah. But this whole social media thing, like, everybody thinks that there's, like, this perfect thing, a perfect life, but nothing's perfect. Like, no No, matter what you're doing. On the real, like, the vlogs and, like, content that I enjoy the most are, like, the people doing the most mundane things. The what? The people that are doing, like, very mundane things, Mm, like, very regular mm -hmm, things, mm -hmm. but still making it, like, look like a silver lining. Mm. Because, like, you know, if you can make the most simple things exciting. Yeah. Like, you're definitely a fun-ass person to hang around. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, it's somebody that sees light in everything, and I want to be around those types of people. Yeah, of course. And that was, like, another thing back to our mood board journals. I was, that's what I said about um, social life. 
What? What'd you say about the delay? I'm about to read it again. Say it. What's the What's the topic called? Let's see if we can um decipher <laughs> decipher <laughs> decipher it. I said social life is comfortable but uncomfortable. Oof. Y'all, have y'all tried in your <laughs> 20s to find new friends after college when you guys moved to different countries or cities or whatever? It's hard. It's hard. It makes it it's sound hard. comfy. So, like, as Marielle knows slash, like, me, your but you guys friends. probably don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my personal friends. I am wild. I'm crazy. I'm loud. Like, I get in trouble because I'm loud. <laughs> I'm just, like, out there. I'm in your face. That Scorpio energy. The Scorpio <laughs> energy. I'm like, yo, what's up? This is me. Hello. <laughs> So, in a good way. I'm very bubbly, yeah, yeah. too. She's so loyal to you guys. <laughs> I know, like, Scorpios have sometimes might have, like, not the best, like... Yeah, everybody thinks that Scorpios yeah. are, like... Psycho. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'm crazy for my people. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> what course. I'm saying. Like, she's crazy, but she's loyally crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy I mean? for my people. Yeah. I'll yeah. come across the other way. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so this says socially... Or social life is uncomfortable, but comfortable. I said I'm continu- continuously putting myself out there. I, and going to meaningful events, connecting with... Oh, I love that meaningful events. Meaningful. Meaningful, meaningful events. events. Connecting with like-minded individuals who attract greatness because of their frequency and energy that is continuously... Oh, that is continuous and spreads. Talking about the people... Talking about me and the people I'm around. Quotation marks. I said, I am so grateful I found my people in LA and keep connecting with those who will genuinely support me. Genuine. Her. And yeah, that's basically all I said, but it's still like meaningful because sometimes people just want friends. Sometimes people want like, oh, you're into that? Let's hang out. But like, what about what about her intentions? Yeah, what yeah, about, yeah. Or his intentions? What about, you know, I what think it's their surrounding funny her? that you just talked about that because I just heard this whole park sing happy birthday to that one person there. Uh-huh. And I think there's like little picnic birthday parties happening yeah, all around. That's so cute. It's so wholesome. So cute. And like it's the fact that you said meaningful and genuine and I just feel that. Like and we just saw that and that just came that on. That it just came on. Like <gasps> everybody it's just I don't know. I love going to this park. I literally like asked Leah and I was like, Where do you wanna go? Do you wanna go to another park? She's like, No no no, let's go to that park because it's mad yeah, wholesome. Yeah, <laughs> this park is so wholesome. I mean I wish I knew the name. Yeah. But like we were talking about earlier about like you kind of have to be very specific but specific enough for your um what they called for your intentions for the year yeah like writing it down um and i love that that was very specific yeah it was specific but it wasn't like i want yeah you know, like someone who dances and does this and does that yeah. like i don't care what the fuck you do i just need your energy to align with mine exactly you know yeah like it's opening it up to get energy yeah um but not closing it off to like just a dancer right. or just a yoga person or, yeah, or just like a singer. You religious, know I mean? like the whole religious like um what's it called? Differences, like that type of stuff doesn't matter either. And I know that's like something that stops people from It does, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's why I'm always like like earlier I was like, Oh I'm Catholic though. I'm <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. She's why are you looking at me like that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like why do I have something on my face? <laughs> no, I was like <laughs> because, I don't know, like, I feel like nowadays, especially with where the world is coming from, I feel like a lot of things are very soft and um, sensitive topics for people, but I feel like sometimes we need to remember that just because a person's one thing, that doesn't mean it's their whole personality Yeah. of, like, the bad stuff that relates to that specific thing, like Mm. Catholicism, like, Mm. I'm not about to shame you for, like, what you believe, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like that's, like, a stereotype. Of course. Of, of, um, my... Unless you really, I will say, unless you believe in the devil, I'm just, like... Yeah, yeah, unless we're, like, yeah, (laughs) gotta go, gotta go. I can't, that's not (laughs) aligning with my, with my vision. (laughs) I'm just sorry if you gotta say that, but... Other than that, you're cool. You're good. We're yeah. good. We're cool. No, so that's why I like need to screenshot that because I was like, I'm not like that. I was like, why are you looking at me like that, bro? Like, I don't care. Girl, no. I've gotten side eyes, bro. Bombastic I've got side, side, side eyes. eyes. Bombastic side, side eyes. eyes. Like, workplace, then like I'm taking my shit. So yeah, of you course. You know. So I think everything happens for a reason. Like I think I was just so burnt out for like majority of 2023. Um. <laughs> Everything that happened for a reason happened for a reason. And now we started up. It literally all happened in December. Like, I was like, oh, hey, let's do the fitness thing. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do this. Let's do that. that. Like, it's setting me up good stuff. And we haven't even put it on her board yet. Put it on the board yet. We haven't even done that. um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for you. 
Thank I really you. am. I'm really excited for us. <laughs> like, like, we really do this We're going to look back at this video and be like, what oh, this were we is talking be about? so amazing when, like, you finally book the tour of your dreams. The, yeah, that I want. You do exactly, exactly what you're what trying it, to yeah, do. And yeah, I'm like, oh. And we're watching this being like, ah! You, that like, you're gonna happened. watch this on your tour bus or the airplane and be like, yo, we did that shit. Yeah, we did that shit. Um, you're so <laughs> happy for us. No, but like, I wanna say, like, looking back at your 2020, what, three, we're in? Yeah. Yeah. What, did you journal? I did, I did. Now, did things come true in your journal? They did, they really did. I was looking at my mood board um, yesterday and I was like, what else can I grab from that, still put it on this? And a lot of stuff has happened. Like I've, I've kind of found what truly makes me happy individually. Mm. I've found what works with like friends and stuff, like boundaries mm. wise that might have worked before but don't work now. Yeah. I feel like I've grown a lot as a person. What um, was like one thing on your mood board or like your journal or vision of 2023? that happened you're like what the hell that actually happened so i so to me this year was all about dance Mm. like that was something i really really tried to focus on and for the longest time i'd been wanting to do a training program because i've not i've never been trained before Mm. so i've just been taking classes ever since i moved out to la and like joining a training program was something that was really like high up like top three on my board oh yeah and i'm so excited that i joined it and i did it yeah yeah so oh, that was that's a, good. That was so that's awesome. If anybody in Troop is watching this. Oh, uh, she just did Troop too. That's I did Troop is. only for a little couple of days because of my life. But <laughs> it was super cute and super fun and the community was insane. So Yeah, so I that was that was something that I'm really, really proud about. I was dreading it for the longest time because I didn't know confidence-wise how I, well I would do. And mm-hmm. I just didn't want to keep like putting it off, putting it off yeah, and talking dude. myself out of it. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. Because you never want to just, like, it. not do it and then be like, yeah. oh, I regret not I doing regret it. it yeah. That's the one thing, yeah. like, I'm most scared of. Like, my fear is, like, oh, like, regret, like, was it? Re- regrets? Regretting? What? Regretting like, life. In general. Like, yeah. regretting oh, anything. Yeah. Like, that's my biggest fear because I yeah. just want to do it and try it, yeah. you know? What about and you? Then, what about me? What's something that um, What about me? Honestly... I remember starting the new year a little rough. Yeah. Um, but it was like my first or second ish new year that I was, I was like, yeah, this is what's gonna happen. Like I was so motivated, and then starting the new year, things like were shaky a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so probably like a month after January, so in February, I wrote down my goals for the year. <gasps> oh, yeah. okay. So it was after the yeah, new year it was happened. Yeah, afterwards. Yeah. And which is okay too, guys. Yeah, which is totally okay. Yeah, it's don't like timing. Don't pressure yourself. To yeah. Do like, <laughs> I need to do it. <laughs> no, I mean, it's obviously, like, you know, great to do it before the New Year's. But, like, for me, I did, like, February. And I every single thing that I wrote down for the most part, as in, like, physical slash, like, I didn't really write mentally mental things like oh I want to be mentally stable like I didn't write that down um so I didn't really write about the inner stuff but I wrote about like what I want to accomplish yeah and everything I did I wrote down I did accomplish so I wrote like I wrote I booked a tour I finally let go of something that was holding me down I moved to LA I went to Japan I taught in Japan I did a tour there like bro I did everything I wrote down and I did that shit did that shit but now I'm saying out loud I'm like wow I actually did that no, shit literally. because I don't think I've like actually took an account like wow I actually did that shit honestly though I before I did this vision board idea before we yeah. I did um I have that problem too where I'm not really present like like a big win like I'm like okay, what's next? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I'm always like and that's a for problem the next thing. about and hustlers. That's problem. Yeah, that's a problem about hustlers. That we is. just don't be appreciating. We don't just be appreciating the little ones. We always want more, and that's okay because that means you're motivated and you still care. You right. know what I mean? Because once you don't feel that, that should be a problem. Yeah. Um. But I made like a vision, not a vision board, but a post vision board mm-hmm. of like everything that I did that year. Mm, I wrote that's everything a good down. Idea. I wrote everything down. Oh. And I was like. Wait, I was crying because I did my first. Oh, I did my first that. audition this year with Jason Derulo and Megan oh. Trainer, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I went to my first influencer event with you to the people. I was oh. like, "Bro, this is making me cry because I was like, bro, like, 
I was having the shittiest day week that week. Okay. And I was like, you know, I need something to fucking cheer me up. And I was like, oh, I need to do my vision board. But then I said I had to do my 2023 post vision board before. Like a yeah, recap, recap of your 23. Yeah. I'm going to go do that, like, when I get home. No, literally, because you out here just saying all this stuff, like, girl, like, oh, that was so some nice. big shit. You yeah. did three tours this year. Did you not? No, I did. I did. But it was like three. It was total of three tours. Three, yes. But yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah. Like, girl, crazy do you not stuff. know how many people want to do on one tour, let crazy. alone three? Is crazy. And crazy. then Japan, and then teaching in Japan. Yeah. And like, crazy, it's but just like, a lot. And then let's keep going. LA. I know. Moving to LA was my biggest thing. Like, I yeah. was like, fuck everything else. I need to go to LA. I need to move there. I want to be there. So I'm so happy I ended up doing that because I actually planned to move to LA a year before. So, like, I was going to leave the heat sooner then, and then move yeah. to L.A. sooner. But something wasn't feeling right. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't aligning. It wasn't aligning. Yeah. So, I stopped. I waited. Yeah. But, yeah. So. But, yeah. 100% recommend that. But I'm I feel like that. this, it's dark as fuck. I know. Can you guys even see us? Can you see us? <laughs> can you see us? <laughs> we normally never do this, but it's so cloudy. <coughs> and, like, now it's December. So, like, everything just shuts down <laughs> at, like, freaking 4 p.m. I know. But. should have thought about that. I okay. hope you guys liked this episode, and I'm really excited for what our podcast is going to be in the future. Please also give us some names of a yeah. Podcast. If you guys have any names, like Down let us know. Um, we'll not also us being like, <laughs> <laughs> can you guys do <laughs> you guys? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so also happy holidays to everybody. Happy holidays. Go make your vision board and move yes, boards. Please. Go journal what you want your yes. 2024 to look like. Cause bitch, and I swear that's like, it, it happens. It's it works. Nice. It's going to work. It's you know, work. but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, happy holidays again. Make sure to like, and subscribe. Follow Leah. I think we're going to have to make our own podcast like channel it, at one point. We will. At one point. We will. Yeah. Cause you know, yeah. We will. I wish we could collab on, like, you know, we you can invite collaborator on Instagram, and it'll be on both of your pages. Yeah. I don't think they have that for YouTube. Oh, not 